Dallas Cowboys are really overreacted to the cap situation. Um, I don't really think they should have, you know, just gone out and got rid of all your pieces. And if you're going to trade away, you know, Amari Cooper, get something worth value than a second and a fifth. If you're planning on getting rid of, I don't know, something like a major piece, and this goes for any team that's in a cap situation where they're actually struggling, like, if you're planning to do that, trade them somewhere that needs that player for, like, a first. I mean, or a first for next year. Or at least, like, a second, a third. A second for next year, and a second for this year, or a third. And a third. Like, those are, that's at least reasonable, because you can at least get something with that, those picks. Whether it be a, a, really, a good career backup or a really good player. But, like, Cowboys, you're trading a really good wide receiver that still has a couple more years left for a second and a fifth. Now, the second, I can understand, like, second to get a pick for draft, round draft picks, like, you've had some great guys come out of them. But a fifth? I'm not, I don't I even know some people who came out of the fifth round. I'm trying to think, who came out of, like, the fifth round? No one. Mo most likely, they're going to be career backups. And I don't think you need a career backup when you're trying to replace Amari Cooper. And, like, you got rid of so many key players to the point where, like, it's it's not really it's worth getting rid of all of them. Like, get rid of, like, the one player that's eating up the most amount of cap room. And that's kind of the reasonable thing to do in that situation. You want to get rid of the one that eats up the most amount of cap room so you can at least keep a lot of your key players. So I would have gotten rid of Ezekiel Elliott. Because while he's a very good player, um, you don't really need him. You have a huge cap problem. You're giving him a ton of money. Get rid of him. I know he's good, and I know he's, like, the main part of your offense, but you need to get rid of him. At that point, it's not worth it. And, or, like, you can get rid of someone that you just, that's getting older and has a bigger contract. Because in that situation, you know, um, it would have made sense to, like, get rid of them. Or at least get rid of a bunch of older guys to replace them in free agent. Or have the, their backups come in or start rebuilding that part of the, that position. Because I know Dallas, or the people from Dallas, you don't really want to see your team, you know, fall from grace. You guys were this close to winning the, um, the NFC Championship. By that, I mean you probably weren't. Because most likely you're going to be upset by in the divisional round. And, by the Packers. And, you know, you kind of do get upset a lot, and you never really get the greatness. Um, you haven't been great since the night. Since the 20th century. And while you have been good this year. You haven't been great. You've been beating up. Um, you, you're in a, probably the easiest division out there. Besides in my opinion. The N NFC North is probably the second easiest. Because Detroit Lions are in it. That, those, that's basically three wins. But you have two free wins. You, have, you versus the Commanders two times. And then you versus the Giants two times. So you have four easy wins. And then you have the Philadelphia Eagles, which you're going to lose one a game. So you have five guaranteed each season. Five guaranteed. And then, not to mention, the schedule's really easy. So you get, like, four more wins and you're in the playoffs. Four or five. And, it, and that's just really annoying. Because, like, you know, like, Pittsburgh Steelers, they weren't a good team. But they at least you know that they... Struggled to get those wins. They tried. Because their schedule was decently hard. I mean, you have the Tennessee Titans. You got a verse. Then you had... Um, you have the Bengals that you had a verse. You had some other really decently hard teams. Dallas Texans. They were against the Arizona Cardinals and lost. Well, that game was really good. It was good to show the legitimacy of the Arizona Cardinals. Which I do not like. The Arizona Cardinals, they're a first half team. They're definitely never going to get to it. In fact, I don't think they're ever going to get to a Super Bowl like in 50 years. I'm, I'm saying it right now. Because they're not good. Anyway, back to the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, you guys are just in a really good spot to always make the playoffs and make a ton of money. But when it comes to actually doing something legit or doing something like... um. That revolves around, you know, um, 
actually winning quality opponent against quality opponents. You're gonna win one quality against one quality opponent a year. And usually that quality of opponent's gonna be like the like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, they're quality, but they're still not that good of quality. And if you were to win against someone with like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, then I would say, okay, they're a legitimate team. Or against the Bengals, okay, you're legitimate. But if you win a, if you win your entirety of like two wins off of the Washington Commanders, then I'm gonna say, Well, that doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove that you won fifty six to fourteen against a team that's struggling and has probably some of the worst quarterbacks in the league. And yeah, it's kind of like my opinion on the Dallas Cowboys and how they're just not that great. They're not good in general. Um, they always have good players, but they never really do anything with them. And really, they haven't been good since the 20th century. And more 21st century, you're never going to win another Super Bowl in like 10 years in the way that things are going with you guys. Um, I do hope that a couple that a couple of your players do go to other teams that win Super Bowl rings. Like, I want Ezekiel Elliott to win a Super Bowl. I want uh, Dak Prescott to win one. Amari Cooper. You know. But, like, come on, man. Like, don't become another, like, Cleveland Brown that always somehow fails to do anything with the players they have. Or... You know, you could just sit there and be good and just not fail at the stuff you do. Anyway, okay, that's kind of what I want to say. Yeah, that's what I want to say about, uh, you know, the uh, situation with the Dallas Cowboys um, and how they, in my opinion, of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and I hope that you will all have a great day, and, and if you don't like my opinion, you don't have to, but it's my opinion on what I think about the Dallas Cowboys this year and how have they been throughout the years and what they're going to be doing in the future. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so the YouTube algorithm can notice me, and have a good day. Bye.